Hi, welcome to allthingsproduction.com. My name is Jeremy Howard. In the last video, left, right, and mid-side EQ, Fight showed us excellent ways to widen aspects of our mix. In today's video, I will show you a free plugin that you can get that works well with Pro Tools that will allow you to meter the mid-side aspects of the mix, as well as how to set that meter to view LUFs, which is the loudness units relative to full scale. So every mix that you do comes out relatively the same level. So I'm just going to go ahead and instantiate the plugin on the master at this time. You can use it on other channels as well, which will be covered in later videos. So the free plugin that you can get is Hoffa for you, meter, fader, and MS pan. Again, I'm just going to be showing you metering selections today and settings. This plugin can do a lot more, like adjust the mid-side pan and level of the mix, as well as other things as, uh, as we said we will cover in later videos. So for today, just real quick, if you were wanting to meter the aspects that Fight was showing you guys about left, right, and mid-side EQ, to make sure, first of all, there are no phasing issues, really cool addition to this plugin, I'm first going to set this on post, is the mode that you can set to mono to check your mix. So it's really easy if you don't have a, a piece of hardware like a Mackie Big Knob or something, you can go ahead and select mono or a console uh, to check the mix for phase and uh, mono compatibility. Really good free plugin. Just go ahead and hit mono, check the mix, and you're all set. So I'm just going to leave that here for now. Uh, so again, to check the mid side or left, right, if you will, when we set this, the left meter is going to show us the mid information and the right meter is going to show us the side information. So what we do here is just select MS mode. We're already on meter. Let's see how that responds to Pro Tools. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to stereo. As we see, here's our stereo mix. When I hit MS, meters drop. So this is showing us as well what's happening in the mid and what's happening on the sides. So we can adjust that accordingly. What's really cool too here is we're responding to peak information. So as Pro Tools at this time, we could use this for peak and you can set Pro Tools independently to another meter type as well if you wanted to monitor RMS and so forth. Just gonna leave that in Pro Tools Classic for the moment. So a really good meter to view what's happening on the mid and what's on the side for free. So the next thing I want to show you guys is how to set this to view the meter in LUFs, which is loudness units relative to full scale. So we're going to go ahead and go to modes, set that back to stereo, make sure I'm post, and there's two things I want to set. Go to settings, EBU mode, and we want to go to LUFs I. So it's an overall three second uh, meter here that will analyze, of course, the audio over three seconds with respect to the frequency content. So that's the first setting. The second one would be the scale. I'm going to go ahead and set that to LUFS 18 since I'm mixing and not in the mastering process at the moment. Another good thing this has as well is detect intersample peaks, which we can use after our mastering chain. So at this time, I'm just going to go ahead and run this meter. Reset this. And our target LUFS we want to be when mixing is somewhere around minus 18 LUFS. So right now you can see that this mix can come up a little bit. It's around minus 22 at the moment with no mastering plugins enabled at the moment. So there are definitely aspects I can do in this mix to go ahead and, and increase the overall LUFS value. And uh, that's it. So again, the free meter is called Hoffa for you meter fader and MS pan. There's other ones as well, of course, to check the phase correlation and the gonio meter that you can use. Hoffa comes with four free ones. A goni meter, a meter fader pan, which we're viewing at the moment, a project time, which is really cool to go ahead and enable as soon as you start a project to see exactly how much time you spend, and then another analyzer net aux, which we won't cover at this moment. Okay, guys, uh, remember to go to allthingsproduction.com and sign up for a free uh, membership there and to join the forum and post any questions that you have, as well as any information that you would like us uh, to. Uh, put in the form of a video if you're having uh, difficulty achieving something uh, or want to know just simply how to do something that you can't find online, please post a comment or request for the video and we'll take care of that for you guys.
All right, until next time.